It's time for the VR recap. Let's see what this week's top stories are. No Man's Sky's Beyond update has had a bit of a shaky start with performance issues for both PC VR and PS VR players. Sean Murray told us that Hello Games will be regularly sending out hotfixes, and he wasn't joking. We've seen six hotfixes since launch, and counting. He further explains that problems come down to three things. Bugs I need to fix, users' hardware setup, and unexpected scenarios that the game will be further optimized for. You can check out our recommended graphics settings below for the best VR performance in No Man's Sky. After seven years, Oculus co-founder Nate Mitchell is saying goodbye to the company. Mitchell made the announcement online explaining that it was time to move on. That makes him the last of the original founders to leave Oculus. Among others, Palmer Lucky left in 2017 and former CEO Brendan Areeb left in 2018. L.A. Noire The VR Case Files just received an 18 age rating for the PlayStation 4 from Peggy. This isn't an official announcement, but we're expecting one on its arrival on PSVR pretty soon now. This version of L.A. Noire isn't a straight port, but instead takes some of the original missions and enhances them for VR. When L.A. Noire hit PC VR, the internet was inundated with pretty hilarious videos, so we can't wait to see what PSVR players make of it when it launches, whenever that may be. VR MMO Zenith launched its Kickstarter this week, only to be fully funded in four hours. Its goal was a modest 25k, but it smashed past that and has already been funded by over 300%. This project looks pretty awesome and they've got some big promises to fulfill, like getting millions of people to play and socialise together at once. They've also confirmed that the MMO will be available on Quest, along with PC VR and PS VR with full crossplay. Now for this week's top releases. An update for a little-known game came out this week for PC VR and PS VR. It's No Man's Sky Beyond. Dystopian sci-fi puzzler Red Matter is now available on Quest. Time Saw is what we describe more as a pushing game, but with plenty of creative freedom and humour. O-Shape brings humour Tetris to VR. And finally, put your quarters away because Pinball FX2 VR is now on Rift. When asked if No Man's Sky was the most important VR game today, you guys had opinions. Devlin here said that it pulled them back to PC VR after converting to the Quest. Maya thinks it will be important in getting other developers on board to give their games VR support. And Alessandro is torn to say the least. We're giving you a chance to join the universe this week with five No Man's Sky Steam codes up for grabs. All you gotta do is click the link in the description and enter. Good luck! Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week, but in the meantime, check out our other videos.